Hi guys, thanks for your time. Um, I'll try and keep this quick. Um, but yeah, one of the main asks I'd like to put forward for Tableau, which could be a huge win for the customer and for Tableau, is the ability to capture engagement tracking metrics for all of Tableau dashboards, which are web-based. So that's server, online, and public. And um, as we go through, you'll see what I'm after or what I'm requesting and the huge benefits to everyone involved. So essentially right now, Tableau um, uses views as the main kind of success metric for its dashboards. And for this instance, I'll just focus on Tableau Public, but the same thing could be said for the corporate environment too. But essentially, if we see here, you know, views are great, but we don't know the quality of each view, right? So right now I look at this and I'm going, cool, this is my best uh, dashboard page. I'm going to keep building content like this. Same for these two, right? And yeah, they're getting a fair chunk of views. I should keep making content like this. However, when I um, bring in a metric which tracks engagement, like average time on the page, this picture completely changes. So now I can still see, yep, I should make content for this because it's very engaging. You know, people are spending a couple of minutes looking at this, which is awesome. But then these two pages, they're coming and going in under a minute. And I don't think that's a quality engagement. So that really informs me that I shouldn't spend as much time make, you know, enhance, making content like this, or maybe I should spend time enhancing it. But again, that's an immediate insight we can get. You know, I should be spending more time focusing on these guys too, um, with one simple engagement metric. These are the kind of metrics I'm asking for. Um, these are they're all very simple ones in the web uh, tracking community. You know, these are from Google Analytics, but they're all commonly used elsewhere. You know, these two are pretty self-explanatory. We just covered this one. Again, traffic sources. There is, these are all pretty self-explanatory. But when you start having these metrics, engagement metrics with your dashboard content, you can suddenly start answering questions we've all been having with our Tableau, you know, dashboards. Um, you know, this one we could already cover, but then suddenly, you know, what, how, how long are people engaging my content? Or they, you know, what's the quality of each view? You know, which content is actually getting people to come back? The, that's the content I want to keep making. Um, you know, sh am I getting huge, always getting huge traction on Reddit? That informs me I should keep posting there. Maybe if there's a huge spike in my views, in the past I couldn't see where that was coming from. Uh, but now I might find that some news art, uh, website has featured one of my visits and I can actively you know, make more content to suit their audience or reach out to them if they want more content. But in the past, we were just flying blind. Um, again, this is always good to know if you spend on search marketing or whatever. Again, um, you know, if I find there's a huge Japanese audience who's engaged, I should probably make content for Japan and even localize some of my dashboards to increase that engagement and sharing. Also, you know, do I spend my time building for all three device types? Maybe when maybe I can just do one. You know, this is key, especially when, as an analyst, your time is limited and you can't do everything, even, even though you'd like to. Um, you know, this can really help inform where, you, you know, to where, where to spend your time. And equally, you know, am I building my dashboard too big, too small? I can now start to figure this out. And equally, um, with page titles, say if I have a 20-page report, but only three of those pages or tabs are being used, um, that's huge. That means I should stop wasting my time maintaining and uh, enhancing the 17 tabs no one cares about and double down on those three. And that's a huge thing we face in the business world too. You know, you're blindly cranking out these reports, but if no one's using them, you have no evidence to, one, justify your actions, but also to do your actions too. Um, yeah, so there's that. And look, no surprise, um, look, this is all in the public. Google um, Analytics can plug into Data Studio reports now. You just put a view ID in, and it's all nice and simple. And um, we'll just have a quick look. But essentially, you know, these are stats which, you know, I'd love to have in Tableau uh, public uh, and the other corporate ones. Because again, I can quickly see, you know, those questions I started to have, like I can quickly go, right, this site's pretty good for referring my Data Studio reports. It's a no-brainer. Um, but equally, I can see that more people are engaged when they find me through my website. So I should definitely keep posting there because my audience is more engaged with my content directly. Again, I shouldn't waste any time building for other devices apart from desktop right now. I know that's painful to hear, but like my time's limited and the data says I should, you know, the, the direction I should go in. And again, US, UK, my main sources. But again, I can't tell that from Tableau Public or any Tableau report, right? At best, I could embed Google Analytics onto my web page 
and track the metrics metrics that way, but I'm still missing a huge part of my audience if my dashboards get embedded or posted somewhere else, you know, which which is bad. You know, like some of those Zen masters who've got hundreds of thousands of views, I bet they couldn't say where all their traffic sources came from. And I bet they're dying to know so they can make content more tailored to those kind of audiences and know where to seed it in the future. And again, you know, screen resolutions. I've actually been building my dashboards too small. Now I'm going to kind of up it a bit. But again, I can now see that and build effectively, which is great. Um, and look, this isn't just a nice to have. There's a ton of benefits for everyone involved here. So essentially, you know, look, first off, benefits to the customer, the content creators. I've already mentioned this a few times, but this is going to help drive engagement to dashboards based on hard data. You're going to listen to that silent majority and not that vocal minority who might not really know what their whole audience wants. Again, equally, you know, you're not going to waste time building stuff and supporting stuff which no one's using. You know, that's, that's going to be really helpful. Um, because, you know, everyone's got limited time. So now they're going to love that you're helping them make the most of their time where they really focus and double down on. And, um, you yeah, know, just understand the viewers. You know, who's consuming my content? How can I better serve them and surface that content? These are all key things to making my, you know, anyone's dashboards better and, and more, you know, and equally more fun to build because, you know, you're actually not just shouting into the void. <clears throat> equally, you know, the customer again, but content consumers. You know, um, if they build, if they receive more engaged dashboards, they're going to get a better um, view and experience with Tableau, right? They're going to use the reports more. They're going to think Tableau is invaluable and not just go, oh, what's going on? This is too messy and confusing and kind of have negative connotations. Um, you know, which shouldn't happen, but, you know, at least the designers will have metrics to help show what if they're doing anything wrong. Again, that silent majority we can now start to track. And equally, you know, Tableau, you know, you're going to get you know, increased use and engagement is always good from your champions and your analysts. It's going to improve that perception and adoption of Tableau because everyone's going to think it's even better than it is already, which is awesome, by the way. Um, you know, a bit of free PR because people are going to make more content, which can get surfaced and used more in the broader scheme, especially with Tableau Public, you know, which will lead to increase in sales and retention, which is ultimately why, you know, you make what you make. And if you are interested in this idea and want to get it more noticed by Tableau, go over to the link in the description below and be sure to upvote this idea. So the more people who vote, the more it gets on their radar, and the more they'll consider it. Thank you very much. And if there's an idea you'd like me to surface um, like this, um, get in touch with the comments below and drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel to keep updated on everything. Thanks.